My name is Guy Simpson. I'm the musical supervisor and the musical director of the new production of Andrew Lloyd Webber's Love Never Dies, which is the sequel to Phantom of the Opera. You're watching City Search. Secret TV. The most important thing for us in all of this has been, apart from Andrew of course, has been Simon Phillips, the director. I mean, he's, he's helped us pull together the other members of the creative team. It was, he suggested uh, Gabriella, for instance. Um, and, it's, and it's he who really drives the story, and the story is the most important element of, of a musical. If you ask Andrew Lloyd Webber himself what are the most, three most important ingredients, and he'll say it's the story, the story, the story. And so Simon's the person who, who really has been about telling this story in a better way than it was done in London. Uh, well, Andrew arrived about a week ago and uh, he's genuinely thrilled to pieces with the show. He's really, really happy and he and I have been working most mornings on a few little alterations, things that we had to do to make the scene changes work and the transitions because it's a different, totally different production to what he's used to in London. Uh, it's all, the set and costumes are absolutely, it's a new production, absolutely different, you know from scratch and I had an interview before asking does the London shows go, got a carousel I said no it doesn't have a mask it doesn't have a carousel it doesn't have a mini theatre it doesn't have a roller coaster it's totally different the joy of actually being from the ground up on a new show like this the fact that you know it was a whole new version a whole new um, consideration and, and I was given a lot of freedom as a choreographer which really pleased me <laughs> Well, no, we've, we've actually put this together in 10 months. I mean, we would ordinarily probably take 18 months at a minimum for a brand new production. You might take two years. We've done it in 10 months. Well, we had meetings in uh, December in London, um, chats about the show and the up and coming production. Then we got ready to rehearsal in April. Uh, prior to that, Simon Phillips and I worked for months, those, those intervening months, on the score and some changes and thoughts to present to Andrew, which we did over those three months, and he either said yes or no accordingly. <laughs> mostly yeses. Held up the nose. No, mostly yeses. <laughs> but the process of really has, has been about two months in the making for me, since I was actually got, got my hands on those dancers and, and, and started putting shape for me into this work. I actually don't have that. I've, I'm ready to start something right now. Like, I don't feel like... You know, I've, it's been enjoyable. It's been full on process, but I've enjoyed it. Well, I mean, you know, working with a composer, how cool is that? You know, you just don't get to do that very often. Yeah. Um, especially one-on-one -on -one in the mornings, and then in the afternoons we've had the orchestra here putting those few changes in place, rehearsing them. Well, you know, I had to be aware of choreographing in the period. You know, we're set in Coney Island in 1907 or thereabouts, and I was, you know, I couldn't do Graham Murphy contemporary dance numbers. They really had to be right in the period. Costumes, of course, are a big challenge because they're quite, quite a lot of costume to deal with. I, I, I think the, the sheer, the sheer uh, powerfulness of the story and the music and, and presented in a way with this fabulous cast and, and a design like the set and the costumes, which are truly extraordinary. And it's when you combine all of those elements uh, in a story that's the sequel to The Phantom of the Opera. I mean, this really is Phantom Two. Good TV.